biggest challenge that the residents faced with the more restricted hours um, was to be sure that they still remain in, engaged and involved with the patient care. The rigidity of the work hours interfered with the continuity of patient care by requiring handoffs when residents transfer responsibility from one group to another. As an intern, when we did a 16-hour call, we would come in at 5 p.m. taking care of any night issues that came up. It felt more like shift work and less like I was taking care of the whole patient. First trial is a landmark study because for the first time we have national randomized trial evidence in order to support future duty hour policies. The first trial randomized programs to two different arms. In the first arm, the residents followed the current ACGME standard duty hour guidelines. In the intervention arm, the residents were allowed to work beyond their normal shift lengths and have less time off between shifts in order to see if that allowed better continuity of care. Importantly, in both groups, they had to adhere to the 80-hour work week. The primary result that came out of it uh, was that it was not detrimental to patient care quality in any category. The second outcome that was evaluated was whether the relaxation or the flexibility in work hours was detrimental to the resident's well-being uh, in any way. And the results there showed that there was no significant difference. And residents noted in their survey responses that flexible hours provided better patient care, more continuity of patient care, and resulted in a better educational experience in many ways for them. I think it's good news for patients because they are going to have physicians following and providing continuity in their care in the way that they expect and it's good news for residents because it's going to enhance their sense of commitment to patients and enable and allow them to meet that commitment. I think another really important component of this study is that we surgeons, a core component of our professionalism is to train our successors. We need to train the workforce that's going to take care of the entire community for the next 40 years of their career. There's no replacement for total time in the hospital and seeing a patient's progression from the beginning of their disease process to the end. I think from a training standpoint, the flexibility hours is certainly helpful and it's more realistic to what we're going to encounter once we're out of our residency programs. Greater flexibility in work hours is necessary for professionals, and in this case surgeons, to provide optimal care to patients.